Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video, in this video we are going to learn about how to use GetX with dependency injection and binding. So, let's get started. So here I have empty project, and for adding GetX to the project, we need to add get package to the pubspec.yaml file. So open the pubspec.yaml file and add get package to the dependencies, then tap on this pub get option to get the dependencies. Now let's first create the controller, so for that come to the lib directory, and here create a new directory called controller. And inside this directory create a new file called random number controller.dart. And inside this file, create class called random number controller, and this class will extend get x controller. And inside this class, create a observable variables, as current number and initialize it with 0.obs, so this variable will hold the current number. Now below this create a method as generate random number, ans let's also create a one more observable variable as is loading and initialize it with false.obs, so this variable will hold the loading state. So here I'm creating this variable to show the loading indicator when the random number is generating, now come inside this function and set the isLoading value to true, so whenever user click on the button, this loading value will be true, and then add the async above here on this function. Then here add the delay for 2 second, so when the user will tap on the generate number. Then it will take 2 seconds and for these 2 seconds we will show the loading indicator, and then generate the random number and set it to the current number, and then set the is loading value to false. Because the random number is generated successfully, so this function is ready, now let's create the binding, so come to the lib directory, and here create a new directory called binding, and inside this directory create a new file called random number binding.dart, and inside this file create a class called random number binding, and this class will extend bindings, now this class is extending bindings. So we need to override the dependencies method, and now come inside this method and here add the get.lazy put method, and inside this method, pass the random number controller. So this is the binding class, so here get.lazy put method is used to create the instance of the random number controller, so this is the binding class, now let's create the UI, so come to the main.dart file, and from here remove the material app and here add the get material app, then inside this add the initial binding, and here pass the random number binding, so this is the binding class. So this binding class will create the instance of the random number controller. Now come to the build method and here create a variable as random number controller and get the instance of the random number controller by calling the get.find method. So this get.find method will find the instance of the random number controller. Now come to the scaffold widget and here inside the body, add the obx widget, and inside this add the text widget. And here get the current number from the random number controller, and add the text style for this text, now here add the floating action button, and add the floating action button, and for the on pressed method, call the generate random number method, and for child add the add icon, now save the code, and tap on this button, then after 2 seconds the number is generated, and now when you will open the run tab, you will see the random number controller is created and initialized, now let's do one more thing, copy this text widget and remove it from here, and here add a condition that, if controller dot is loading is true, then we will show the circular progress indicator, and if it is false, then we will show the text widget, and one more thing here add the dot value, because this is the observable variable, so we need to add the dot value, now save the code, and tap on this button, then you will see the circular progress indicator, and after 2 seconds the random number is generated, so this is how we can use get x with dependency injection and binding, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.